All right, what we got here is a Harbor Freight three and a half cubic feet concrete mixer. Uh, we're about to go down there and spray some concrete on that dome that we've been working on. And since we're going to be using a mortar sprayer.com Tyrolesa sprayer to spray the concrete, I didn't want to try to keep up with hand mixing. So we went ahead and, and uh, got us a concrete mixer to keep up with it. So uh, what we found out from looking online the instructions for these Harbor Freight uh, things are about horrible, so we're going to try to kind of document what we're doing to help you out. So, all right, first problem putting these things together, and you can tell they're made by freaking prison camp labor. This side over here was so tight we had to beat it on. This other side was so loose, and the bolts weren't weren't long enough, so we couldn't even put the washers on there. But we had to put the C clamp in and tighten it down to push it through enough where we could even get the bolt to catch. And you can see there's still this big ugly gap where it bent somehow. So, you know, that ain't no good. But we did manage to jury rig it and get the darn thing together. Alright, so there's two washers. Put a washer on, put the uh, wheel on, put the other washer on, then the, the uh, cotter pin goes through there and just bent up. We'll just do that on either side. And it's a little wobbly, but uh, that's fine. All right, now we put the bar on that the actual mixer goes in. And the long end goes on the side of the handles, because that's where the dump goes. Then the motor mount goes on the side with the wheels. All right, so this sits on. The motor brought the motor uh, case slits on and then this uh, first part of the uh, uh, barrel it just fits in the uh, there's a there's a bar it just fits in the uh, cradle there with this matching up with the gear right and then what we have to do is messed with uh, this gasket which is horribly it's drilled all funky and it's just kind of you know mangled so that's going to take a minute to get that to lay flat all right on each one of these bearings on either side they're held on with these uh, split rings and the instructions don't tell you but you can't bolt either the motor cover or the uh, bed over there without taking these off and uh, we didn't have a split ring plier so we had to jury rig it with some need nose pliers and some screwdrivers which were not fun right but uh, take it from me a pair of split ring pliers will make your job a whole lot easier all right getting that split ring back on was was, was kind of a pain in the tail end um, my compadre, the guy who helped me out, was pretty smart enough to ask me if I had a pipe. I had this piece of chain link fence post uh, from another project. We just put it on there, cut the split ring around the lip, and just put that pipe on that shaft and beat it, and, and it hooked it right up. So, all right, once we get the uh, uh, slip rings back on, right, we tighten that up, we put on the motor bracket. All right, so the motor bracket goes on with some uh, long bolts, and there's a little flat bar that goes behind this uh, stand. And what that does is it, is it kind of stabilizes it so it don't wiggle as much. That gasket that goes around here was kind of a bear. It probably helped if you got some gasket sealant. I didn't go get any. I, I wrote it down, and when we went to the store, I forgot to get it. But what I did was flip this top over laid it around it, put these bolts through, and because they didn't cut it quite even, the uh, 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 holes in the gasket kind of held these screws together, and then just carefully flipped it over and laid it in the holes, and then we just tightened it up, okay? And so, uh, I'll show you the gasket. See, it goes all the way around. All right, so here's the assembly that lets you dump it, okay? So this is the piece that we had to put the split, take the split ring off, put this on, bolt it in, put the split ring back, right? Then we got this handle. Well, this handle's got this bolt 
that came already screwed in it. There's a little metal, almost like a little dime, that goes in here. And then there's one spring that springs itself. And what that dime does is lets this screw tighten the uh, tension on this spring, okay? Because the spring meshes with this wheel to hold your uh, bucket in place, right? Okay, then it just bolt washer all the way through and then they've got two nuts. So you tighten the one nut, get it right, and then the second one goes on as a jam nut. We put the key in that shaft, knocked, uh, used the board and knocked this uh, cast iron pulley on there. Put the belt on there. We wrote the belt number down in the instruction manual in case uh, we have to replace the belt later, which is another good idea from Smitty. So we set this bracket up, got everything adjusted, Tightened it up enough where we can move this motor out so we get in there and, and tighten everything up, put the motor back. And now what we've done is take the uh, cover off of the electrical socket, push the cables through here, you know, and use this uh, little grommet, put the cable in there, hook everything up, and we're just going to bolt the thing back together. Alright, just to make things easier, we just unscrewed this from the front to get to the uh, ground that attaches to that uh, casing and then I think what he's going to do is push the cables out through the screw hole and attach it and screw it and screw everything to the to the screw to the switch I'm sorry without uh, having to worry about doing it inside that box then we'll just bolt everything back White to white, black to black. You can't mess it up, it's just common sense. I didn't think that was common. Mm. That's still debatable. If y'all do this, make sure you put this little grommet here in the side of it where the wire is. It helps hold it and keep it out of your motor. All right, probably the most frustrating thing of the whole freaking thing is these paddles because there is a definitely a language barrier. The instructions say have it point the V in the direction of travel counterclockwise. Okay? Now, that depends on where you're standing. and. I personally don't think that this V is pointing in the direction of travel counterclockwise. However, that's really the only direction that it can go. Um, but I will tell you, as this turns, this is going to kind of scoop it up and drop it down, scoop it up and drop it down. So I think that's probably the most effective. I say that to say this. There's some stickers, an arrow down, an arrow down, and a direction of travel counterclockwise, right? And with these two arrows lined up, the, the bolts line up for the top and the bottom. So I think that this is right, okay? It seems to look like it works right, but we'll see if it is once we find out if it can keep up with my uh, uh, tire lesson sprayer from uh, motorsprayer.com. So, um, this was kind of a pain, and I will tell you, if you're going to put it together, it's really nice to have uh, um, some slip ring pliers, but definitely some metric tools, because this thing was made in China, and you're going to need some, uh, some metric tools. So uh, there you go, and I can't wait to get out and use this thing and see if it can keep up with our sprayer. So thank you very much.